I shooted this video, I edited it, and I was ready to post this at the starting of the May, the first week of this month. And here it goes. Being so inconsistent, being so late to uploading it, I'm sorry about it, but yeah, please watch it, get me some views because I'm very pathetic, I know. Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna make bullet journal setup for the month May. So, I have opted for the theme moon. I have been obsessed over moon since lately a lot. So, I wanted to dedicate a specific month for this theme. Uh, to watch the whole process, watch the video from start to finish. Grab your materials, get yourself seated in a place, and let's get started. So for starting off, you will have to make a sketch for this, um, you know, illustration. So we're gonna prepare the Dutch door cover for the month for me. So uh, this was slightly inspired from Pinterest and mostly my own thing. Uh, the placement of the clouds, the moon, I thought of it really hard because, like, you know, I'm. I'll be very honest, I'm not very much creative in these stuff. I mostly take references from Pinterest and then I copy it down, I paint it all over and this is how it goes. But this time I had to think the whole theme, uh, like all the things which I want to add in entirely, which was indeed a tough task for me this time. So, yep. Anyways, so here at the main uh, at the center of the page here is the big moon and then I thought of adding clouds randomly big and small some behind of the moon some at the front of the moon and then I thought of adding um, pastel purple color for the clouds not entirely but at the you know sole edges of the uh, curves of the clouds and then I thought of adding golden line for the moon so like we can uh, you know so much discriminate between you know the moon and then the clouds and then below we write the title of the month may and that's it so this page is pretty simple it'll hard take you from roughly five to ten minutes even ten minutes is more i guess so um it contains a pretty simple illustration of moon sinking underwater at the corner with a few stars in and around the moon and then uh, once this illustration is done we are gonna add these line borders around the page and then on the top we're gonna write goals and in the middle affirmations so like we'll be leaving some space for both goals and affirmations and that's pretty much it for this page Uh, okay, so this one's pretty complex to explain though, but I'll try my best. So starting off, we're gonna write habit tracker at the top middle part of the page. And then we're gonna illustrate a Chinese lantern or something like that at the left side of the page. And then we're gonna do some minimal illustration on the right side of the page. And then for this month, I'm gonna track four habits down, um, which is uh, of top priority for me, but this can vary to you. Uh, so I'm gonna track down my skincare routine and then workout and then um, you know guitar practicing and at last reading or study sessions so in this reading or study session it includes both academic and non-academic reading uh, to me and now so we're gonna uh, draw four circles indicating four habits and on the top of the circle we're gonna write down the habit which we're gonna track down and then we'll be illustrating small fluffy clouds around the circle so the page doesn't look very simple uh, nor very dramatic so the page is pretty minimal and aesthetic and cute and stuff and then at the center we're gonna write down the numericals i mean the you know the days of the month and then we're gonna add some colors to this page 
like adding the um, golden stuff with the golden glitter pen and then i'm gonna color down the lantern in pink color and then adding uh, silver to the top and bottom of the lantern and then uh, i'll be adding the purple tint on the clouds uh, as i did that in the national cover and i guess um, that's pretty much it for this thing but yeah also i'll be adding small doodles like the shimmers and stars around the clouds so like um, the paste turns out to be cute that's pretty much it Now let's move to our mood tracker. So for this we are gonna uh, first start off with sticking the moon at the center of that circle. So um, this circle is like, um, you know, first you gotta draw the small circle and then another big circle and then you gotta uh, divide the circle, that ring or whatever it is, into uh, smaller sections. So like there are 31 days in the month of May, so you gotta divide it into 31 parts and then each part represents a day and um, like you know, I'm using three colors for the mood tracking and uh, you can increase or decrease the number of colors uh, as per your choice so as you can see i'm uh, using three modes for this month one is happy other is neutral and at last it's uh, sad or some negative emotion so i'm using golden for the happy uh, black for the negative emotion and then neutral uh, i mean for neutral i'll be using the pastel purple color and then at last finishing off we are going to write the title of the tracking that is mood tracker now i found the page looking very simple and uh, very plain so like i drew a few doodles it's um, you know optional if you want to do it you can So this section of the journal consists of two parts. Uh, the one is a quote section and the other is a calendar one. So on the quotes thing, uh, actually I was going through Pinterest, scrolling and stuff, finding references for my future artworks and I came across this quote which said to the moon and back which means um, a feeling or some good thing which uh, lasts for forever. And I was uh, like, damn i wanna you know draw this i wanna illustrate this someday in future somewhere somehow i wanna do this in my journal and there you go seeing this in a video and uh yeah that's it and then uh, coming to the calendar um we are gonna divide this into two parts one is for the calendar itself and the other is for the notes uh, notes in the sense uh, you know writing down the important event for that particular month and then um you know you i mean you know right how you're gonna draw the boxes um so you're gonna draw that grid uh, which consists of 31 days you're gonna number each box and uh, highlight the days of the week in some pastel color or the color palette you're using
at last we'll finish it off by writing month at a glance and the title of the month that is may and that's it So coming to the weekly layout section, we are going to divide each page into three sections where we are going to uh, do the weekly layout inspired from lunar calendar. That is, we are going to, you know, illustrate uh, the moon phases of each day as well. So as you can see, I have divided the page into three sections. Um, I'm drawing circles um, at the specific area and writing the date of the day um, at the side of it and then writing the day as well and then uh, we are going to cover up the white section of the moon in silver metallic color you can use the gold color or any other color as for your choice i have uh, used silver because i found it might look better follow the same process for the entire weekly layout in the following pages as well Okay, so this is the last section and one of the most favorite sections of mine of this journal. So this is the playlist of the month where I note down my favorite music or the songs which I listen very often this month. So um, the process is you take a big cutout or a stick or if you have one. Like um, I mean I have used a cutout of moon obviously because of the theme. And then we are going to write the title of the month that is me on the side using a brush pen. And then add golden shadows behind it. And then below that we are going to write um, musical picks or music of the month or any sort of title you want to give to this playlist. You can also add some small totals like stars or dots or something like that around it. And once that is done, we are going to draw 8 boxes. Uh, you can, you know, um, reduce or increase the number of boxes as per your liking. I've added 8 boxes for 8 songs and then I'm going to, you know, uh, draw the timeline uh, to the each I mean to each boxes and then a pause button and then you know the skip buttons or something like that so we're gonna add that to, to each box Now take a pastel colored highlighter or brush pen and swatch it the way I'm doing it on the screen. I mean you should do it on the paper but yeah. So that we can write the name of the artist on that, uh, I mean on that place. And then on the top we are supposed to write the name of the song and on that uh, swatched area we are going to write the name of the artist as demonstrated here. And um, that's pretty much it for this page. I hope you liked this video if you did then please make sure to like it share it with your family and friends and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more videos in the upcoming future and let me know your views about this video in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys pretty soon with another video next time
follow me on instagram at the rate this id i'll link it down in the description as well and i'll see you guys with the next one pretty soon until then peace signing out this was sam and you were watching the adorable lifestyle make sure to check out this video in the outro and see you